shad didn't look like me. The baby that shad didn't look like me. Alright, good up. Good evening, YouTube. This is Joe the Game Out. And I got a e video, not a tutorial, but a how to video on anyone who has a Broadway e CPU. 6800K, 6800K, 6850K, 6900K, 6850X, or Scarlet X CPUs. But I have a Broadway. Everybody know about the Broadway situation, about the broken, broken overclock with the micro uh, date update, uh, micro code that breaks your overclock. You can't overclock for shit. You lose every fucking thing. And I'm going to show you some proof that you can get it back. I'm going to show you right here that I got my overclock. Wait a minute. Boom. See right here, 4.2, 4.3 gigahertz. I'm going to CPU Z. Show you again here. That you can get your overclock back. Of course, I'm going to try to do that once I show you to prove it at mobile cost here. See, 4.29, 4.3 gigahertz. It show you that it's there. I got my overclock. Okay, now I'm going to show you how you do it. You go in here. Go on this PC. Go on your main C drive. Windows. You go on System32 folder. I'm going to scroll on down. Oh. I don't know, pass it. There it is, this folder here. This folder, that's the update. That's the micro um, soft micro core update that breaks your overclock right here. Well, that's not in 3900. That is something I added to the end because I renamed it. But I'm going to show you about, tell you about that. But this is the one. Don't worry about this one up here. It's the one on the Intel, genuine Intel. This is the one. It's the micro code that been, we had since 1803. That broke your overclock on Broadway. You click on this one. Properties. Security. Click on the bands. And you want to go up here. You want to change ownership. You want to make sure you change. Click this first before you do anything. Make sure you click change permission. See right there. It's going to ask for a change permission. Hit the object name to select. You know, you go in advanced tab. You know, because I'm not going to do it, so I don't did it. I want to change my I don't did it. But you go to here, you go to um, yeah, you go in there and you put fine now. See, and then you go down here, you go where it says uh, authenticated users. You want to click that. You know, once you do that, you know, you'll be the, um, because you want to make sure you have one ownership of the um, file. And once you do that, you're going to go through all these here. This one, this one might say full control, but this one here, you're going to make sure all these say full control on it. And when you do that, you want to make sure you click on um, Ethan Benjamin. And make sure your deep box is checked. All of them got to be checked. Got all mine checked here. Yeah, so you gotta make sure they all check. You have to make sure these all say boom. Make sure all these say full control. Once I say once you go on um, change, click change, you're gonna head to locations. Not location, my bad. You go to advance. And you're gonna go down to find now. And you go click on Authentic Users. You want to click? You want to click on that one? That's what you want to click on. Because you want to change permission of the file. That's what you want to do. And it should pop up in here. When you click on that, it'll pop up in here. Authentic Users. You'll be the owner. Of the, and then you're gonna make sure all these say full control. And once you click on all of them, make sure all the boxes check, like I showed you here. Once you do that, on all of these. Once you click apply, it's going to ask you to, uh, you, you agree to take full ownership of this file. Once you do that, and you say yes. And then, once you do that, you'll 
become the um you have ownership of this file and once you do that you want to restart your computer once you do that you want to make sure you restart it and then when you once you restart it again you want to go back to this file and you want to rename it you know what I'm saying don't change the whole freaking name but as you can see I still kept my name still I still kept the uh, original name I just add some numbers at the end and once you do that because you got to rename it too you got to do that and once you do that it'll ask you something else and you just click yes and then you'll see this see how these boxes got these little things in the side when you click on that and do all this it'll turn to a white page it'll be blank like this one here blank it'll go like that when you see it go blank like this they know it work and then once you do that you restart the computer again and you go back into your um your bias and you put your overclock settings in and I guarantee you uh, you put your overclock settings in um, and go back in Windows and save it your overclock settings will be there you're like you see here on mine you see it'll be right there what you want you going to buy is put your overclock settings back in it'll it'll be there you know that's ain't about we got a Broadway Egypt or Skyly it's the same procedure on both of them make sure you find that Microsoft micro co update is in your system 32 file folder and do what I showed you to do to take ownership of it and do like I say and restart your computer you rename the file I guarantee your overclock will get restored yeah the baby that she had didn't look like me the baby that she had didn't look like me